Well, I thought that it was more of a campaign tactic that it was a sound policy. In fact, if we had held some hearings on the tax bill, if we had sought witness testimony on the tax bill, actually we could have come to that conclusion. So if the administration were prepared to make some accommodation, for example, uh, on the top individual rate, then I think that you might be able to satisfy the President's request. We also have, uh, with his positions, we've also had a record deficit, in large measure because of the tax cut. The tax bill was written in 51 days without one hearing or without one witness offering testimony. Last night's election put the Democrats in charge of the following. One half of one third of the federal government. So there are some opportunities here on infrastructure, on prescription drug benefits, and to reset the trade agenda. There are some opportunities here for cooperation. And I intend fully to hold hearings on their tax bill and to hold the hearings that weren't held the last time. Let's have in some people of great economic reputation, Democrat and Republican, to talk about the tax bill. Well, it's going to be hard to revamp it when, you, when I just Larry, when I just get done describing the uh, one half and one third of the federal government. So I'm mindful of a Senate majority. I'm mindful of a presidential veto. But I also think that it's within our jurisdiction to hold some hearings on it because it has sowed a lot of confusion, I can assure you of that.